Hello there, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by for your monthly tarot video forecast. This forecast is for the month of October, and I'm breaking October down into four different sections. The longest one will be the first one. So this is going to cover October the 1st through October the 10th. Each section after that will be about a week long. So let's see. Are we ready to put down cards for you guys yet, Geminis? Feels like the first to the tenth. You guys have a lot on your mind and a lot sort of stressing you out because, um, yeah, the longer I shuffle, the more there is that's kind of on your mind. All right, let's put down some cards. Geminis. We're going to start with your environment, and your environment is any place where you have energy or effort invested. So normally it'll show up as home, but you want to keep your mind open to where else it might be, because I have seen it show up as school or as work before. So what we have going on whenever we're looking at your environment is it looks like um, you're not really accomplishing anything in the environment. You're not getting any work done in the environment. There's a lot of stress that's going on in the environment because of some kind of news or some kind of information that you receive. Hmm. I'm not really liking your start, Geminis. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. Hopefully things get better. Oh, okay. All right, next thing that we're looking at is subconscious leanings for you during this particular time frame. So Leos, what looks like is happening to me is that you're thinking about somebody who used to be in your life, doesn't have to be an ex, could be an ex, but somebody from your past who used to be in your sphere of influence, but not so much anymore. And you're seeing that they are doing something that they actually really love doing and it's bringing in financial abundance for them. And I think in your subconscious, you're really thinking about this. This is on your mind. Like, wow, look at them. They're doing what they want to do or they're doing what they love to do. And they're getting all the bills paid. And so you're kind of turning that over with your subconscious. I think there's a, a small bit of you that is kind of like, wow, didn't think that could happen. But I think there's also a small bit of you that's feeling a little bit inspired. Like, well, if they can do it. And trust me, I know all their flaws. <laughs> then I can do something that I love too and bring in financial abundance. So your subconscious is really working on a lot of different aspects of this particular situation. Also, for a few of you, you're thinking, hmm, maybe I should not have let that person be an ex. All right, though, so let's move on, Gemini, because you can't change the past. You can only work with what you've got in the now, right? So next thing that we're looking at is learning style and communication style during this time frame. We're starting with learning style. It looks like there is something that you're learning in a very formal way. So you may be going to a seminar or taking some type of class, uh, maybe even just a little online one or two hour thing, but it also could be very formal. It could be that you guys are going to university. There is some kind of learning that's showing up here. To me, it, it seems more like... Um, this is not self-directed. Let's just say it that way. It doesn't seem like self-directed for that particular part of what you're learning. Um, ba -bum, bum, bum. There's also a lot I feel like that you're learning about yourself and your own patterns and your own behaviors and you're doing this through reflection. I think you're doing a lot of reflecting um, during this time frame. And I feel like where you're trying to pick up particular information maybe even information about other people. I feel like you're getting little tiny bits and pieces, but not anything real major coming through. Now, let's move to communication style during this time frame.
I think you have some situations coming up where you are being more quiet and listening than you're actually talking for your communication style. And there are some other situations that are coming up where your communication style is very much emotional and covered, colored, I should say, by the emotions that you're having at the moment. And I think part of the communication you're doing is actually going to be at some type of celebration during this time frame. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, let's look next at work. Work for Gemini's October 1st through the 10th. Oh, I'm liking it. <clears throat> All right, so Gemini's, the first thing that's popping out to me during this time frame is that somebody is recognizing your work, your quality of work, how well you're doing. They're recognizing that you have done something that not only benefits yourself, but also benefits the company and other people in the company. And they are giving you some kind of pat on the back or recognition, some type of kudos, um, whether it's a, something verbal, whether it's at a, like a ceremony of some kind, or whether it's at, you know, maybe not even a formal ceremony, but a gathering, um, or whether this is in the shape of a bonus for some of you, it could be. Uh, but somebody expressing, somebody at work expressing their appreciation for the job that you have done. Um, and this is not something you've done by yourself. It is a project that everybody had a hand in. And that project, uh, that says successful completion of that project is being celebrated as well as all the people that had help in it, which includes yourself. So what else is going on at work? There is a great new idea for something new. So I kind of feel like this project that you're celebrating is completed and over. There's a new project that is coming into conceptualization that is getting ready to come off the ground as well. And there's something going on here where you have a decision to make at work. There's some kind of decision that falls in your lap um, whenever it comes to work during this time frame. La -da -da -da. Next, we're looking at inner work. Mm hmm. Your inner work has to do with success, Gemini, and it has to do with making the decision that you are worthy of having success and that allowing you to take those first steps towards whatever it is that you want to be successful in. So that's your inner work. Da -da 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 Next thing we're looking at is that part of your personality, which is being grown or expanded right now. It looks to me like you're focusing on some situation very logically at this moment. And when you're looking at it logically, When you're looking at this situation logically, I think you're really focusing on the negatives. You're focusing on the reasons why something can't happen. I will tell you that the sense that I'm getting here Gemini's and y'all know I'm not a candy coater. Y'all have been listening to me long enough and if you haven't been well I've been around long enough that you can go back and watch and you'll see that no matter how many videos you watch of mine you'll never once see me put candy coating on anything. And so I think you guys are basically that was my way of warning you that this is not going to be candy coated. Um, I think you guys are basically looking at a situation and you're seeing all the why it can't happen and what's wrong with it and how come we can't move forward with it and how come it can't be successful. Well, you know, we were just looking at where your inner work was to make a decision and be successful. But where you're being expanded is exactly the opposite of that. So this is what you're supposed to be working on. Because here you're being negative Nelly about something. And to me, the impression that I have is you're looking at something so logically 
that you're ruling out the magic or you're ruling out the supernatural. You're taking them completely out of the game and off the table. It's a bad idea to do that. Your inner work is to decide that you can be successful and then allow yourself to get out of the way. Allow yourself to recognize that you're worthy of that. And as long as you've got your logic cap on and you're ruling off, ruling out magic and worthiness and everything else and taking that all off the table and looking at only the worst case scenario or the negative aspects of something, guess what? You're not manifesting anything good here. You are manifesting, absolutely, because we're all always manifesting, but you're not manifesting what you want. You're manifesting what you don't want as long as you're focusing on the negative. And this clearly says that you are in a point where you're focusing on the negative and that's the part of you that's expanding right now. So the beautiful thing about getting these readings ahead of time is if you he hear something or see something that you don't really like, you have a chance to change free will. You have a chance to set your mind to do something different to make my cards be not true. That's why we get these readings early. It's not so that we can go, oh, woe is me, gloom and doom is coming. A reader doesn't want to tell you that. You don't want to hear that. That's not why we get readings and that's not why we give readings. They're so that we can improve things because we've got a heads up. So you've got a heads up. It's going to be really super easy for you guys to focus on the negative. Don't do it. By doing that, you're shooting yourself in the foot. You're limiting yourself. We have enough people limiting us. We don't need to be limiting ourselves, too. Don't we? Don't, want to, don't we want to be empowering ourselves? All right, next thing, Gemini, is let's look at those things that you stand for. No, 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 no. Look at yous. Mm -mm. No, look at yous. You see this? You see this? Maybe these meanings aren't popping out at you as much as they are at me. You've got the Empress, the Hanged Man, and the Wheel of Fortune all together. First of all, that's three majors. This means that this is kind of a big deal. And it is kind of a big deal. I can see that. Guess what you're doing? Let me tell you what this says. This says, Gemini, you're the Empress. You can manifest anything that you want. And you can do it in a very passive sort of way. Just by basically putting in your order with the universe and letting the universe fill that order. Okay? Kind of powerful. Kind of awesome. What are you doing? What are you doing, Gemini? You're waiting you're waiting to tell the universe what you want. Now, why would you do that? Is there a logical reason to do that? If I was trying to coach you right now, if you were my client right now and I was trying to coach you right now, do you have any idea how frustrated I would be with you? <laughs> Very. Very. Fairy is a four-letter word. Look at this. This is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for the wheel of fortune to turn in your favor before you start manifesting. Wrong, 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 ding, dong, wrong. No, it's not how it works. You have to manifest the things that you want which is what makes the wheel turn in your favor. We create our realities. We don't wait until the wheel turns in our favor to start manifesting. Some of you, some of you, literally are putting off becoming a mama, waiting holding off until the situation is perfect. 
until it's the right time. You're going to have a baby when it's the right time. Do you know when the right time is? Do you know when the right time is? Because the right time is a moving target. The right time is a moving target, guys. Because you can have one idea of what the right time is that was like five years ago. Well, now it's five years later. Everything that's happening in that right time is that right time. It's here, but now you want more. So the right time is a moving target. And because it's a moving target, if you keep waiting for the right time, the right time will never be here and you will wait until you are buried in your grave. Don't do that to yourself. There's something that you want to manifest and you can manifest it, no problem. You're waiting till the right time. And guess what? Somebody is saying something to you like I just said to you. They're saying, well, there is no right time. You've got to just make this happen and then make everything else that needs to happen along the way happen. There's no right time. You can't wait for the right time. You're defending yourself. You're standing by this. You're saying, yes, there is a right time and I'm going to get there and I'm going to wait till I get to that right time and I might be old and wrinkled and gray and I might be buried and dead, but by God, I'm waiting till that right time. Once again, we get these readings so that we can head things off at the pass. If you're thinking maybe that's not the best thinking, Lincoln, that might be stinking thinking, Lincoln. If you're thinking that, then you might want to change that. You don't have to. It's just my opinion. You know, you don't have to watch this reading. It's going to be filled with my opinion right along with the message sometimes. Do you want to hear it or do you want to click off? If you want to click off, you're more than welcome to. If you want to hear it, well, you're a brave soul, aren't you? <laughs> All right, so let's look at what this other person thinks about you after you've told them, I'm waiting to manifest the thing that I want until the right time. You know what they're thinking? They're thinking you're done. They're thinking it's never going to happen. You're never going to make that commitment. And you know what else? They're not even fighting you on it. They're just accepting it. They're seeing that this is never going to happen. And they're just accepting that it's never going to happen. Even though you're saying, well, when the time is right, it'll happen. They're saying, no, it won't. Because if you're waiting for the right time, that'll never happen. So this will never happen. That's how they're seeing you. They're basically seeing you as the same thing I was just telling you a few minutes ago. Okay, well... You know, you get to do whatever you want to do. Let's move on, shall we? Let's get a mess to offer soapbox and let's move on. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Okay, next thing we're looking at is the flex point. This is where things start to turn around for you during this time frame. What do we have here? What do we have here? There's somebody that you're really impatient with during this time. And I think you're impatient with them because you had higher expectations of them than what they are able to live up to. Or maybe than what they care to live up to in some of your cases. And where I think that you had them on a pedestal in your expectations and you just thought they were Mr. or Ms. Wonderful... And yes, this could be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, now you're thinking, you're just impatient. Things didn't happen fast enough for you. So whether it's romantic or not, you're impatient because things just aren't moving along fast enough for you. And that's actually call, causing like a, back with, a backlash from the other person. Because the more impatient you get, the more that makes them not sure they want to move forward. So they're stepping a little bit back. The more impatient you are for things to move forward, the more they're backing up. You're trying to get things to move forward, they're backing up. All right, what else is going on at the same time that this is happening? You 
you're continuing on forward with whatever your plans are whatever it is that you're doing already okay this we're not talking about new plans this is just whatever you're doing already you're continuing forward with it and I think you're continuing forward with it without somebody who was an encourager or a supporter you're just going it on your own now doing this very continuing on with these plans in a very independent type of way ba -da -da -da. what else is going on Wow, nobody's making you happy right now. Oh, sorry, honey. I just kicked the dog. Um, nobody's making you happy right now. You have people that are showing you their true colors. And you're seeing them for what they are. And your opinion of them is going down several different notches. So it's in. Because I don't feel like these are the same people that you were impatient with about moving forward. There are a couple of other people in your life, too, that I think were very charming and probably promised you the moon. And then you realize, wait a second, they don't own the moon. And now you don't think so highly of them anymore. Okay. So all of that is going on at the same time. That's your flex point. And then look at this. Where are you at the end of the week? End of the week. Hmm. This is nice. Somebody is giving you some kind of gift at the end of the week. And I think also you have new ideas about things that you want to accomplish. And so you're making some long-term plans based on these ideas that you want to accomplish. And as you are making those long-term plans, um, then you are receiving a gift right in the midst of that. So maybe you're making some plans to travel next year and you get a discount on those tickets. That would be a gift. Or maybe you can do it free on your um, travel card that you've been acquiring points on. Either way, you've got some kind of gift showing up here as you're making these long-term plans at the end of this time frame. So that concludes this time frame. Let me log off of here right now. I take care of this dog. <laughs> and I'll come back after a break and we'll look at your next time frame. See you soon. Hello there, Geminis. Thank you so much for coming back. This time we're going to be looking at the time frame from October 11th through the 17th. Or thank you for staying here, for those of you who have just stayed. I appreciate people who view all the way through and people who just hit segments. Uh, let's see. Anyway, let's put down some cards for you guys for this time frame and see what shows up here. Okay, we've got all your cards on the table, Gemini. So, for the week of October 11th through the 17th, we're going to start off with your environment. <sighs> hmm, looks like we've got multiple things going on in the environment. Now, remember, the environment is any place where you have energy or effort invested. It looks to me like you are really good at making things happen, at bringing in those things that you... Um, love and that you appreciate that you need and I think that you are bringing them in I think also though that there's I think you're kind of feeling the need to manifest some of this stuff so this is not necessarily manifesting something luxurious as much as this is manifesting just what you need just right in time right on the moment right here the other thing that we have coming up about your environment is that you really do enjoy your environment there's a lot to like about your environment okay now the next thing that we're going to look at Gemini's talks to me about your subconscious leanings during this particular time frame it does
look like you are really thinking about a situation having to do with work where you need to do more due diligence or you need to do more research. And so you're thinking about how can you manage to buy yourself enough time to do that due diligence or that research. So that creating that kind of time for yourself is what's in going on in your subconscious mind. Buying some time to really dig in and find all the information that you need before you have to plow forward with some kind of project. Next thing that I'm looking at... Yep. Okay, next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about communication style and also learning style. We are going to start with learning style. I do feel like right now your learning style, at least in some things, is kind of a little bit all over the place. There are things that you want to know about, but I feel like you keep getting distracted as you're learning. I feel like some of the details you're learning are actually distracting you from uh, looking at some of the big picture things that you're thinking about that you would like to learn. So there's this little bit of a push-pull of I'm getting new information, but it's not the information I exactly wanted, but I'm getting new information. I see this coming into play here. Um, <clears throat> What is this I'm seeing? It looks to me too like there is some information that you're trying to find and that's being hidden from you right now. I think that there is somebody who is actively hiding the truth from you around a situation where you're looking for information. I feel like you're confused about this situation already and when we don't have the truth a lot of times that does make us feel confused and I think you're trying to get to the bottom of things but there's definitely somebody that you're asking some questions you're trying to figure this out and they are giving you uh, some false answers so that you don't figure out what's going on here or at least that's their intent yeah there's definitely and there's uh, there's multiple things. There's something else too, not just that, that you're being kept in the dark on. And I'm not sure that you even realize that that might be an issue or a concern. So information is, is really big. Learning is really big. Paying attention to every bit of information that comes your way is going to be really key as you're going through this time frame so that you don't end up with situations that you weren't wanting or weren't planning for. Next thing that we're looking at talks to me about your communication style and I do feel like um, with some people you're only really communicating if you absolutely have to and even then you're kind of going a little bit around the merry-go bush with merry-go-round. How did you say that? Merry -go <laughs> around the mulberry bush with them is what I'm trying to say. But yes, I think you're giving them a merry-go-round ride. Right? You don't want to really communicate things with this person in a straightforward way or with these people in a straightforward way, Gemini. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Also, it looks to me, I've never had this come up for communication before, but it looks to me like there's something that you have said or that you are saying during this time frame that you end up retracting or taking back. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing that we have, I do feel like there is some kind of communication that carries a lot of strong emotion with it. There's some kind of communication that is motivated by the fact that somebody has really made you indignant or made you angry um, there may be a little bit of triggering in there for a lot of you, but for some of you, I think this is just a very legitimate, straight up anger that's coming up, not even necessarily triggered, but def for very valid reasons for some of you. All right, the next thing that we're looking at talks to me about work, 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 work during this particular time frame. <laughs> Some of you are like me, your readers. <laughs> That's cool, Jebediah. Let's see, though. I do feel like whatever work you have, 
a lot of your Geminis really feel like this is the ideal work for you. Okay, there's something about it that just feels right for you, feels ideal to you. But you're getting some kind of message in during this time frame that says, well, you can't do it. So maybe you found a perfect project for you to work on or a perfect job or something like that. But there's some kind of delay. There's somebody coming in and saying, you know what? No, we're not doing this right now. And so I think that you are, for those of you who are not psychic um, or doing psychic work, I think you're definitely following your intuition, though, whenever this door gets closed. I think you're following your intuition about what to do next or what to pursue next or how to pursue getting that door opened or probably both at the same time, I would say. Looking at inner work, almost forgot to look at inner work. Inner work really is about tapping into that higher self and being able to hear that voice and being able to see things from um, a different perspective, from a more distant perspective so that you can make uh, less emotional, more well-grounded decisions. That's your inner work. La -da -da -da. Let's see that part of your personality which is being grown or expanded right now. Grown or expanded, what's happening here? Wow, it looks like it's all about the money, honey. <laughs> there is this idea, the sense of security, the sense of stepping up a notch. This could be getting a promotion. This really doesn't have to be just money. This could be security. So this could be getting a pro promotion at work. This could be um, creating a new source of passive income. This could be adding on to your home or upgrading the home or upgrading the car. It's interesting because I feel like you get in some good news about money or material goods. You upgrade something. And then once you upgrade that thing, there's a delay before you get the payback for upgrading this. So whatever it is you're upgrading, I think you're expecting that to bring particular results to you. And I think that you're going to wait a little bit longer than you're expecting to to get those particular results. I don't think that they're going to not show up. I just think it's going to take a little longer than you expected. Okay, so that's where you're growing or expanding right now. La -da 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 -da, la -da 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 -da. All right, my dears, next we are looking at those things that you stand for. La -da 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 -da. What is going on? What are you standing for here? This is... <sighs> I think there's, first of all, I'm going to say, I think that there's a person or a relationship that you're standing for here. And I think that it's not over. There's still at least some kind of communication that needs to happen. But even though it's not over, I don't see this continuing on right now either. It's just not happening. You guys are too far at odds. And I think that somebody is basically criticizing you for being at odds with this person that really it's not over with. Like everybody can see that this situation is not over. Um, and somebody is saying to you, why don't you just agree? I mean, what's the problem here? Okay, so you're having to stand up for yourself and why you have the thoughts and the feelings you do in the situation that are causing problems. How does this other person see you right now? They see you as somebody who is um, not necessarily going to stay in this situation. Somebody who is inspecting the options and possibly even already mentally or emotionally checked out of this situation. That you're not really there anymore. You've pretty much moved on. Even though this is showing up as not being over yet, even though, so it's complicated. It's not really over yet. I think, I think you and the other person both think that you're going to be talking again soon. You'll be back together again soon. But 
um, be back together as a couple again soon, but you're you're not now. And it's interesting because just the way it came up, I didn't get my card that says, oh, I'm taking a break. No. To me, this is like, we're fighting. Maybe we're quiet. Maybe we're not even talking to each other, but we both know that we're going to end up getting back together. How is that going to happen if you're not communicating with each other? That's what I'd like to know. But regardless, this other person does see you as moving on and as having just, you know, you're focusing on other things, not even one particular other thing or not even one particular other relationship, but just moving on, not focusing on this one anymore. All right, so what are we going to look at next? Next, we're going to look at the flex point during this time frame. Flex point during this time frame. Oh, goodness. Geminis, this is some drama here. So Gemini, there's somebody that you've been giving something to, whether it's your time, your energy, finances, material goods of some kind, and you have been doing this in hopes that things would get better for this person or maybe even for the two of you. Um, and you're realizing that that's not what's happening. What's happening is just that the situation's getting worse. And so you've decided now I'm not sharing that anymore. I'm not giving that anymore. I just can't. I just can't do that because it's not helping the situation like I thought it would. And I think that, you know, even though you're cutting off that generosity or that sharing with somebody else, you're still missing. You're missing that other person's company, even though you don't want to share those things with them anymore. And I think that you're coming really clean with yourself about that, that, you know, maybe I really care about this person a lot more than I realize because this is really hard for me not to share these things with them even though I know they're not doing the good I had hoped they would. At the same time, what do we have happening? You guys are starting something new and you're pouring a lot of energy and effort into that new thing. And I think you're trying to really make this into an obsession. Notice trying to make this new thing into an obsession. I think the other thing that you've quit being generous with is really on your mind a lot, though. You're okay, Romeo. I'm dog sitting today, so um, if you hear doggy noises, that's what's going on. I think he's dreaming, maybe. I haven't spent too much time with him before, so I'm still getting to know him. <laughs> But my apologies if it bothers you. Um, anyway, let's see. What else is going on at this time? Wow. Holy Toledo. There's somebody that you are cutting out of your life. Like before we just saw you not sharing something you had been sharing or not, you know, doing something for somebody you'd been doing something for. This is different. This is no more communication. Um, I'm not sure you're alive. If you're standing next to me and talking to me, I'm looking at the other person next to me and saying, do you hear something? That type of thing. Like you're just cutting communication out with this person. And it looks like when you, you're when you're doing this, like I can't even get my words out, and I think that's about how frustrated you're going to be too when this happens, because I think you're cutting off communication with them because there's been an explosive interaction between you and this other person, and I think you guys are calling an end to your relationship, whether it's a friendship or a romantic relationship or whatever it is. That sound is the air conditioner kicking on. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I think that there's some kind of an explosive ending of some type of relationship that seemed to be solid at one point, but now is just done. And you're just cutting this person out completely. However it ended was very hurtful. So you don't want to talk to that person again, and you won't. Okay? 
All right, so Geminis, how do we see you at the end of this week? What do we see going on here? You're walking away from something that made you feel depleted. You are walking away from something that made you feel depleted. And at the same time, you are communicating with something else quite a lot. Quite a lot. And I think that I don't even want to say this something else is even necessarily a relationship. This could be a business opportunity that's happening that's just keeping you on your toes and keeping you really busy and distracting you from the situation that you've walked away from. Okay? But I see that as you're walking away from that situation, whatever communication is going on is helping you to really accept that that situation is done. It's done and dusted. Okay, so that's where we see you at the end of that week, Geminis. Let me go ahead and wrap this up, take a break, and I'll come back and we'll look at your third section of October. See you soon. Welcome back, Gemini. This time we are looking at the time frame from October 18th through the 24th to see what comes up for you guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm always fascinated by these. There's always something new that comes up in a way that it's never come up before. No matter how long you do this, I don't think you ever run into a point where everything is just ho-hum. At least I haven't yet. Okay, honey bunnies, let's take a look at your environment. Okay, so it looks to me like you're starting to get a lot more focused in your environment. Energies are not so much scattered anymore. You're really focusing on um, doing things to create your own independence and your own um, worth and it looks to me like you're doing this through um, creating things that help other people excuse me maybe even new innovations that help other people and you're looking to partner up with somebody that um, is going to be an appropriate partner for you I think you're being very picky in your environment about who could be an appropriate partner for you to me, this kind of has a lot of work overtones, although, I mean, it could be um, a home situation. But just the whole creating innovations that help other people and being very focused on that, that, I mean, I mean, I guess you could be working at home, but this is the whole partnership thing here. I think you're looking for maybe a partner who can promote you or a partner who can help you with production. Um, I mean, some of you, yeah, you could be working, looking for a romantic partner, but I just, I don't think that's the majority of you when we're looking here. I think a lot of you, this has to do with some type of business partner as you're creating something new. All right. La, 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 la. Let's look at subconscious leanings, Gemini's. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So, there's been somebody in your experience who's been really flighty and that you really couldn't count on them. And I think that you have severed ties with this person, at least as far as any kind of official ties where you're no longer responsible to them. They're no longer responsible to you. And I think that you are actually feeling quite abundant since you have done that. It looks to me like this person may have not only been costing you energy that you were spending on them and not being able to do things that were more productive and more fun, uh, but also you were maybe even spending money on them and not really getting a lot of return on that. So it looks to me like now that you have um, 
really cut ties with this person that was flighty and unreliable, you're feeling much more abundant, you're feeling much more stable, you're feeling much more grounded in yourself. And I think in your subconscious, because this is still in your subconscious, you may not have actually cut these ties yet. You may just be thinking about that. And you may just be thinking about what kind of difference that would make if you did cut the ties, how that would impact your life. And that's what you're thinking about. Or it could be that you've already done it and now you're finding yourself to be more stable. And I think in your subconscious mind, you're kind of going, wow, I wasn't anticipating that, but it sure is nice <laughs> type of thing. Okay, but somehow... That is what your subconscious is working on. La -da 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 -da. Next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about your learning style and your communication style. We are going to start with learning style first, Geminis. I get that a lot of you are learning quite a bit just by the seat of your pants as you go along right now. There may not be a lot of preparation for things that you need information, that you're just finding it out as you go. For others of you, I think that you are looking for information and it's a little bit more difficult for you to find the information that you need than you thought it would be or that it really should be even is kind of how that's coming across too. And I think also you're really, um, as far as communication goes, I think you're working on building supportive networks for yourself and it comes across a lot, for a lot of you, we're talking online like a a fan base or some type of media group that follows you or something like that. A lot of you are uh, working on building that through your communication or through your, are you learning how to do it? I think you're learning a lot as you're doing that. Maybe that's what you're learning as by the seat of the pants is as you're doing that. Um, let's look at communication style during this particular time frame. I don't think you're mincing any words. I'll tell you that. I don't think you're mincing any words. You're not, uh, you're not going out of your way to flatter somebody. You are just straight up with the truth. Here it is. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Um, and then uh, what else do we have here? There is somebody in your life that you may be somehow teaching something or mentoring something. It looks like you're um, telling them about one idea and getting that really established. And then you're telling them about the next idea and getting that established. And then the next idea. So it looks like... Um, if you're not teaching or mentoring somebody, you really are sort of preparing somebody to go through different levels so that they end up where you are at the end or at the goal so that they understand exactly where you're coming from. Uh, also, communication style. Now, this is really interesting, but I see that you are doing some communication uh, to divert attention away from something else. So some of the communication that you're doing is to divert communication away from things that you don't want people talking to you about. <laughs> you don't want them to, I think what you, you don't want to be put in a position where you have to choose whether you want to actually lie or not. And so rather than be put in a position where you have to choose if you want to lie or not, you're just talking about other things that are diverting other people's attention so that they don't zoom in on whatever this topic is. That's really interesting. I've seen people do that before, but I've never seen it show up in the cards before. La da 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 da. Next thing we're looking at, Gemini, is work. Hmm. There's something going on in work here where you are picking up some responsibilities. So for many of you, you could actually be starting a new job, starting a second job, starting a third job. But starting a new job is definitely something that I would not be able to take off the table seeing this first card here. The thing is, though, this is an odd type of responsibility or an odd type of work that you have because 
These responsibilities have to do with the end of something that is not going to be brought back to life. So maybe you have a job of going in and cleaning out uh, a manufacturing plant that isn't going to be reopening now. And so it's your job to sell off or, or remove somehow all the assemblies that are still in there, all the machinery, all the equipment, all the materials that are still in there. Um, but there's your job has to do with, really has to do with the end of something that is not going to be restarted. So that's why it's so odd to me. Usually somebody start a job uh, uh, or pick up some kind of responsibilities and then right behind that see a card that say, uh, says everything's coming to an end. That doesn't normally happen. That's why I think your job has to be around something that's ending and has to be around you picking up the pieces, kind of uh, wrapping up, you know, tying together all the loose ends and really putting something to bed for the final last time. Now, if that doesn't relate to your job, the other thing that's coming into me and I really have been dancing around this. I'm hoping this is not true. But the other thing that's coming into me, Gemini, you could be picking up a job or picking up some kind of new responsibilities at the work where you work. And then where you work could close down completely, not to be reopened again. And I keep stressing, it's not coming back again. It's not being reopened again. And I keep saying that because I not only have the card saying that it's over, I also have the card saying, and it's not coming back. Somebody may be trying to revive this and bring it back, but it is not. Okay, so um, I don't like telling you guys this stuff, but I want to be really clear with what I see because if I'm not telling you the truth, I'm not helping you. What good am I? I'm wasting my time and I'm wasting yours. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I think that's all I want to say about that. Let's look at inner work. Inner work. There's something going on where you're taking accountability for your own actions. And I don't think this has to do with outside work. But there's something going on where you're taking accountability for your own actions. And you are seeing, you're realizing that you have, some of the actions that you have done have created consequences that you did not want them to create. And so by taking accountability for those actions, I... I feel like that's your first step towards making a change on these actions so that you don't create situations that you don't want to again. Now for some of you, this could be that you're taking accountability for um, some type of addictive behavior. Excuse me, for others of you, this could be taking accountability for the way that you communicate uh, messages or maybe the way that you don't communicate messages. There are, there are, um, there's definitely something that you're taking accountability for here. You're taking on as your own. And as you take that on as your own, you're bringing about a big change in your life. Because you're determined that you do not want those same consequences again and so you're not going to go back to those old behaviors or old patterns or old habits or whatever they were you're not going to go back to those again okay now next 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 thing we're looking at is that part of your personality which is growing or expanding right now right now being the time in the corner October 18th through the 24th You've got, you've got a tall order coming up here, Gemini's. 
So it looks like you're getting in some bad news about money or about material goods. And it looks like where you may have had plans to upgrade something or to move forward with something that made you feel more secure. Maybe you were thinking you were going to get a promotion. Maybe you were going to upgrade a vehicle or a, a home. You're canceling those plans. You're stepping back. I don't want to say you're canceling them, but you are stepping back from those because of this news that comes in about finances or about material goods. And you're, it's interesting. You're stepping back from any plans that you had because of that, but you are also manifesting. So it's like this news about money or financial or material goods that comes in really motivates you to get out there and do something about um, bringing in more cash flow. And I think you're pulling that off. This is like a wake up call that says, well, I can't depend on wherever I was depending on for money. I've got to have multiple streams of income. Let me go create another income stream. I make it sound easy, don't I? Just snap your fingers, create another income stream. But I think you're doing that. Not necessarily the snap the fingers part, but I do think you're creating a new income stream there. Now, things that you're standing for right now. You have gone back to an old situation that made you feel depleted before. I mean, you walked away from it before because it made you feel depleted. And you're really confused right now that you've walked back. And I think you've walked back to a situation that made you feel secure financially. Whether it was a relationship or whether it was a contract with a company, uh, whatever it was that left you feeling depleted before, that's why you walked away from it. But now you're coming back and now you're really confused about if that was a good choice or not, basically. And somebody is standing up to you, or somebody is confronting you about this and you're having to stand up for yourself and say, you know what, I had some things going on. I was confused about what I was going to do. I went back to this. So sue me. Okay. How is this other person seeing you right now? First of all, this person has feelings for you. I don't know if they're necessarily romantic. For some of you, they could be. But this person cares about you a lot, one way or the other. And it looks to me like they're feeling like by you going back to this old thing, that has really hurt you guys' ability to communicate back and forth. And they're kind of feeling like you made this old thing the priority and you let them go. So they're feeling like, like you've basically, I don't want to say broken up with them because I don't think for all of you this is a romantic partnership type thing or a romantic interest type thing, but turn loose of them. For a lot of you, I feel like this is a friendship thing or maybe even like a little brother or sister in a family, but they're feeling like you've turned loose of them so that you can pay attention to something that you're giving higher priority that you've gone back to that you left because it was depleting you. So they just don't understand how they're lower priority now. Okay. I'm not trying to guilt trip you. I'm just trying to tell you where they're coming from. All right. So let's look next, Gemini's, at your flex point during this time frame. Where do things start to turn in a different direction for you here? Is this Gemini or someone else? Okay, thank you. All right, so there is some kind of celebration together that I think is coming up. And there is somebody in your sphere of influence who is having a massive fit. A grown-up, not a four-year-old, but a grown-up having a four-year-old sized fit, okay, about this get together. I feel like they're feeling like they were left out somehow. Maybe they didn't get an invitation. Maybe they weren't in on part of the planning for it. Maybe they would have liked to have had it at their house and it's somewhere else. Somehow they're feeling like they got left out and they are throwing a huge fit. And I think this has you in a position now where you're not feeling as good about this celebration or get together as you were before. Where before I think you were happy about looking forward to it, 
Now I think you're kind of thinking, well, it's ruined. That's where it looks like you are right now. Right now being <laughs> when? The 18th to the 24th of October. Okay. Anytime I say right now, we're talking about the time frame I'm looking at. Okay, la da da da. What else is going on while well, your attitude about this reunion or get together or celebration has changed? So you have noticed that there's somebody around you who is sneaky Pete. Doesn't have to be a guy just because I said Pete. Uh, but there's somebody around you who's being kind of sneaky and you've noticed that. And at first, that made you feel a little bit left out in the cold and it made you feel a little bit vulnerable, exposed. But there's a shift that's happening here. At the same time that we've got this drama with this person that feels left out, there's this shift where you're realizing, hey, sneaky Pete, guess what? You used to make me feel left out. But now I'm realizing that you're just a big, a liar and a fat mouth, basically. And you're feeling pretty good about being on your own about being self-sufficient. You're not stressing out about this liar in the fat mouth anymore. That's a new saying that I just picked up lately. Some, a couple of people around me say that all the time. A liar in a fat mouth. All right. La da da da. What else is going on at this time? Mm. Same thing. So this person that you've recognized as being sneaky, they've impacted your finances. Okay? But remember, we saw you as being abundant. We saw you as being self-sufficient already. I've got this same situation showing up with a slightly different perspective here. You're seeing how this person really is. You're seeing their true colors. Well, yeah, if you're realizing that they're lying to you, yes, you're seeing how they really are. You're seeing the real deal, the truth. Your opinion of them is not as high as it used to be. Well, I can imagine why. Most people who lie, it's not because they're covering up their greatest attributes. Typically doesn't work like that. So you're seeing how their real personality, who they really are. And part of what you're seeing is that they're costing you money. I think they're costing you money, like literally. And so what you're doing is you're going out and you're getting your money from some other place that has nothing to do with them. Maybe you had a boss or a place that you were working for that was just completely dishonest. Maybe they were closing the doors and they didn't tell anybody. But you caught on to that and you're out there doing your own thing, making your own money somewhere else. And I think also your respect level, your respect level went way down because they did not prepare their people that, hey, there might be trouble ahead. Maybe you should, uh, you know, put some money back in savings or look for another job or something. They didn't do anything like that. And I think that's really impacted your respect level for these people because I think before this, there was a certain amount of respect that you had for them. Okay? Now, where are we seeing you at the end of the week, Geminis? What is going on? You've got three really powerful cards here. Is this Gemini or is this something they're witnessing? So at the end of the week, there's something that you're witnessing that is making a huge impression on you. Huge. I think you're going to be seeing the disintegration of a marriage. Not yours. Not yours. 
But I do think that this is a power couple. This is a couple that you would have never imagined that their marriage would disintegrate. They seemed like they fit each other absolutely perfectly. And they kind of did. When you really look at it, they kind of did. Because each of them, their baggage was a perfect fit to the other person's baggage. They were a per perfect complement to each other. As far as their insecurities and blockages and that type of baggage, they complemented each other. So each one made up for where the other one had issues. Their issues commingled really well. <laughs> but it made the relationship pretty toxic, actually where everybody on the outside kind of thought it was cute, that kind of stuff takes a toll after a while. And I think you're watching the, the complete disintegration of this marriage. And I think that these are people that are, to some degree, in the public eye. Maybe to a big degree, but... I do think that there's a lot of people that look up to this couple as kind of their ideal or something close to the ideal that they would like to shoot for. And so I think that seeing this marriage actually disintegrate is something that um, feels a little traumatic to you. It makes you question if these two couldn't make it, who can? That type of thing. That's what we see going on at the last part of the week. Once again, I want to stress, this is not your marriage that I'm talking about. This is somebody who is um, in the public eye some way, though. Okay? So, that's what we've got for that time frame. Let me wrap this up, take a break. We'll come back and we'll hit your last week of October. Hello there, Gemini. We're back for your last time segment for the month of October. This is going to be the 25th through the 31st. When I started talking, I'm dog sitting. And the dog just decided, oh, I'm going to wake up and come over and say hi. <laughs> His name is Romeo. I don't think he's tall enough to get on the camera, but he's a gorgeous dog. So, sorry about the distraction there. You may hear a little bit of noise as well. He kind of checks out the room before he settles back down again. Let's see. So we're going to be looking at October 25th through the 31st. That's what I was saying. <laughs> so let's take a peek. Let's put your cards down and see what they have to say. Okay, let's take a peek at your environment, Geminis. Let's see. There was something that comes up during this time frame that was previously unknown about your environment. And whenever this shows up, I think it's going to kind of answer some questions for you that you had before, where you kind of knew something wasn't exactly right. It wasn't exactly making sense. So having this information come up is going to be something that actually... Um, clarify something for you about your environment. I also think it's going to make you look at your environment a little differently. And remember, environment's any place where you have energy or effort invested. So it doesn't have to be home, but it usually is. Um, anyway, I think you're going to be looking at your environment a little bit differently, where you may, may have thought that it was ideal before. You may be reconsidering. You may be thinking, well, it's close but no cigar. And I think that also there's something about this new information on your environment that's bringing up some old memories that you're not too happy about. And that may be a part of why you're not feeling like it's exactly ideal anymore. Now, let's see. Next, we're looking at your subconscious leanings. 
It looks to me like there's somebody that you're really interested in getting to know and getting to spend some time with, but you're kind of at a loss of how do I make that happen? How do I actually do that? And so, and so in your subconscious, you're working on, you know, figuring that out. What are you chewing on down there? Okay. Heard him chewing. He's really just licking his leg. I was afraid maybe he was chewing an electrical cord or something. All right, let's focus. <laughs> Next thing that we're looking at talks to me about two different things. First of all, your learning style during this time frame, and second of all, your communication style at this time. I think that there's a lot of things that you're learning right now just because you're personally interested in them, not that you have to know that information, not that you're necessarily able to use it in your everyday life, but you're just interested in. So we have some of that coming up. I also have that there is some information that you're finding or some details that you're having added to uh, pre-existing information. So just building on information that you already have. And then next thing as far as learning, I think you're looking at, there's some kind of options that you're considering for something. And I think that as you're looking at these options, you're you're really researching, you know, which one is going to be the best one for you. So um, to me, that's very intentional research. And it seems to be on a variety of options that you're considering. You're just trying to make sure you're getting the best one. Now, next thing that we have that I'm looking at talks to me about your communication style during this time frame. And so it may be... <laughs> A little bit difficult for you to be heard over the din around you and I'm just saying that because my air conditioner just kicked on and it makes a lot of noise I think you guys can still hear me because of my headset but that the timing of it just because I was looking at your communication style right then tells me that that actually is a message and so it may be a little bit hard for you to be heard over all the activity that's going on around you, other people's attention may be um, drawn to other things that are going on rather than the words that are coming out of your mouth. Um, I really feel like communication, you are having a hard time actually getting your messages across even though you have some strong communication skills in general. Also, be careful who you're communicating what with as well because you don't want to cast your pearls before the swine. Okay, next thing that we're looking at here talks to me about work. And work, I don't know where that thing came from. Okay, and so work, 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 work. You okay over there, Romeo? Hmm? Sit. Sit. Just calm down, sweetie. You're okay. Just be calm. You cool? You cool, buddy? Sorry for the interruption, guys. Um, I know he's really missing his mama. This is his first day here. He just got dropped off here a couple hours ago, so... I just don't want to leave him just wandering and frustrated and worried. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at work. So for work for you, Geminis, it looks like you're getting in some kind of news or information about a contract or a commitment. So you may be being offered a job here, or if you're an independent contractor or... Um, yeah, if you're an independent contractor, you could have word of a new job that's available um, for you. You know, and people are giving you an offer on that. Um, if you're somebody who, I don't know, flips real estate, you could be, you know, purchasing a house to start work on to flip. There's a lot of different ways that this could come in. But anyway, you are giving word about a new contract, a new commitment, a new agreement when it comes to work and I see you taking action on that very quickly I don't think you're hesitating on this opportunity 
I think you're feeling like this is a really great thing for you and you're moving forward with that, like I said, really quickly. As far as inner work, I feel like you're really getting back to the basics of spirituality right now. I think you're going back to um, just pray, straight up pure communication with God, prayer, meditation. Um, you're getting away from things that people have told you that you should do or that you need to do for spirituality. And you're just getting that communication line opened up again, reopened or open maybe even for the first time for some of you with the divine so that you're sort of taking out the middleman and just getting back to the basics of being in touch with the divine and, and um, getting your information from a pure source. Okay, so that's inner work. Uh, da, 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 la, da, da, da. Next thing we're looking at is that part of your personality which is being grown or expanded right now, Geminis. It looks like it looks like you're really holding back on your feelings around a particular issue and you're finding some healing by doing this. So by not just talking all the time about how you feel about someone or how you feel around a certain issue, by just letting yourself have the peacefulness to just think things over, you're finding some healing in this situation. And I think where um, I really think you used to be in a situation where somebody was taking advantage of you. If not financially, then energetically. They may have been being a psychic vampire, but I really think somebody was taking advantage of you financially, and now you are recovering on that front. You're starting to save some money back, and you're no longer um, giving to somebody who is just using you, just taking advantage of you. I feel like they were telling you that they needed money to do this, this, and this, and what they were leaving out is that, you know, a big chunk of that money you're giving them is going to go buy crack or, you know, whatever, scratch-offs. I don't know. Uh, but it just looks to me like somebody was really taking advantage of you and just was kind of using you as the ATM machine. And I think you're healing that up now. I think that was very hard for you emotionally to realize this but you're healing that up you're taking your money and you're stashing it you're not sharing it anymore for uh, crazy silliness like that and that's allowing you to heal it's allowing your own finances to heal as well as your heart okay next thing that we're looking at talks to me about those things that you stand for you have been making some long-term plans. And I think you're doing, part of the reason you're making these long-term plans is because you're forgiving somebody or you're letting something go from the past that you used to hold on to. Some kind of hurt um, that was that was really weighing you down. I think you're letting that go and you're just you're just being honest enough with yourself to to really look at it and say, you know what, this me holding on to this grudge or holding on to this anger or this hurt or whatever isn't hurting the person who did this to me. It's only hurting me. And so you're letting go of it and I think that you're you're making that decision to let go of it long term. So I heard a preacher one time talk about forgiveness and uh, they were talking about that forgiveness is a decision that we make. It's not something that just happens spontaneously. We decide to forgive somebody if we're going to. And sometimes we have to decide to forgive them over and over and over again. Sometimes it's not just one decision depending on the hurt and how deep that was. And so to me, with this long-term planning coming up here around this decision to 
to let go of something or to forgive somebody. I think you're making the plan that I am forgiving this person and however many times I have to remake that decision to forgive this person, I'm going to. And I think you're doing that because it benefits you to do that. I don't think you're doing it for the other person. I think you're doing it because it benefits you. Because you know what? That person's going to live their life just the same if you forgive them or if you don't forgive them. But you get to quit carrying that burden if you forgive them. And you get to live a better life if you forgive them. Okay? So there's that. And I think that's something that you're actually standing up for. You're standing up for the idea of forgiving somebody. Even if it means, in your mind, making that decision over and over and over every time you're tempted not to. How the other person sees you when they hear about this. They know that you have been through a hard time where you felt left out in the cold. And they know that you had real, true, and genuine feelings for this other person. And that's why um, whatever this hurt was hurt so much. But they feel like you deciding to let go of this is really good news for you. Um, I think that they've been really worried about you. And I think that they're seeing this as really good news for you that you're letting go of this. They're seeing this as something that's going to be beneficial to you. Okay. All right. Let's see what's next here, guys. We're going to look at the flex point for this time frame. I feel like, too, you guys are really restless during this time frame. This dog has been in here with me all day while I've been working, doing readings, working on this video. Totally calm <laughs> up until this one. Other than the first live one, which was his first video in the room with me. I think that this is this is the spirit's way of telling me you guys are going to be really restless during this whole particular time frame because he's he started getting restless as soon as I started the camera here. Okay, so flex period, flex period. What do we have? There's a lot of confusion coming up here in your flex period where things start to change direction for you, and. It's interesting, uh, things aren't going as smoothly as you're expecting them to or as smoothly as they were. Now when to get things accomplished, it just takes a little bit of extra effort or extra push. But at the same time, you're still happy. <laughs> you're not letting this uh, drag you down. You're not letting this make you depressed or frustrated or upset. You're, you're staying happy either way. So I like to see that. I like to see that even with the confusion going on, you're still managing to keep your happiness vibe going. And at the same time that this is happening, there is definitely um, the sense of stopping to really think things over. Not to rush into anything, but to just slow down and look at the big picture of things before moving forward looks to me like you're being very careful not to put yourself in a position where you depend on somebody else for something that you could actually create for yourself here. And I think that you are very carefully looking at all the opportunities in front of you here. What else is going on at the same time? You really have a situation here where you're coming across as the Empress. And to me, the Empress is somebody who, um, they're the queen of someone's heart. So it looks to me like there's somebody that is really, truly, not only in love with you, but loves you with that long term, you know, I'm in it for the long haul, come heck or high water, I'm here for you. That type of love is what is showing up here. The thing is that for whatever whatever reason, you're not on the same page with this person. This person who is in it with for you, in it with you for the long haul, you guys are having a hard time being on the same page, having a hard time agreeing, even though you love each other. And I think that this person, even while you guys are having this hard time agreeing, they're still trying to share their love with you. They're still doing things 
that nurture you, that help you, that encourage you, that lift you up, even though you guys aren't on the same page. Hmm. Where do we see you guys at the end of this week? So at the end of the week, you're taking control of your life. You are making decisions that before, maybe you were letting other people make those decisions for you. Now you're saying, you know what, I'm the one that is um, qualified to make that decision. So I'll be taking the reins back on that again. Thank you very much. Um, at the same time, I think you are receiving some type of gift from someone. This could be a lottery win. This could be a gift from the divine that just shows up. This could be a gift from a person. Okay, but there's some kind of gift coming into you. You're going to have a reason to feel very grateful. A reason to feel gratitude. Okay. And then the other thing that's coming up is you're making a lifestyle change. As you are taking back this uh, position of making decisions for yourself, you are making a lifestyle change for yourself because you do want change. You do want things that, to go better. And this lifestyle change is going to be something that influences you in such a way that it either improves your quality of life right now or it improves the length of your life. So this could be um, taking charge of what it is that you're eating, taking charge of your diet. Maybe somebody else was, was making all the decisions when it came to what you ate or what your diet would be. Now you're taking charge and you're making some changes so that you're more healthy, so that you'll have a longer life, so that you can enjoy the life you're in right now and have more energy. You know, it doesn't have to be that. That's just one example. But you are making some kind of lifestyle change and you're taking control to make that lifestyle change. And I feel like you're doing this because you were given a gift and that gift has been not only a gift, but also an eye opener for you that the change is needed. Okay, so that's where we end the month, Gemini. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, for sharing this video with others who may benefit from it. Thank you also for the thumbs up um, that you guys are putting on the videos. And last but not least, of course, thank you to those of you who are ordering private readings or private Reiki sessions from me. It is because of all of you guys' support at every single level that I'm able to do what I love to do for my living. So thank you very much. Everybody have a fantastic month, and if I don't see you here for a private, then I will see you back here on the next video. Peace out.